at no point in time have we needed to walk the buffalo way more. We need to reestablish that relationship we had with bison because they were so widespread and now they're almost like a new species on the landscape, but in fact they're not, they're just returning. Our songs, our stories, our ceremonies are all linked to the buffalo in a very important and large way. One of the goals of the BCI is to have these large, wide-roaming herds. So they'll be moving across jurisdictions. They'll be on tribal lands, and they move across into Forest Service lands. They move across the border into Canada. But to me, that is one of the most important parts of the initiative, and that is you know, working together across jurisdictions, across land ownerships, to identify opportunities towards to further bison conservation. The traditional knowledge the, from the elders um, to our formal European educational knowledge. I think a lot of that needs to be embedded into how we go forward. Having been a federal employee for 15 years now, I've never been involved in a, a positive resource issue that is so far-reaching, wide-ranging, and so ripe for, uh, for progress right now. Today, the Buffalo Treaty has over 30 nations that have signed on and a whole bunch of organizations, NGOs, and individuals. Just their sheer presence on the landscape influences thousands and thousands of different species. Let's listen to the animal. And we began to learn from the buffalo. And the recognition that Mother Nature gave us this incredible animal perfected over thousands and thousands of years. We're winning one day at a time, and it may be 30 years, um, but every day is uh, a celebration for us. We do it all together through partnerships, through allyships, through right relations. This is the Buffalo Way. It is led by strong leaders, including many female leaders through that matriarchal leading through empathy. The buffalo never left. It has been around. The spirit of the buffalo is here and so on. It's us that have left the buffalo. It's us that have to do the coming back. I'll make a little bit of a plug for thinking about uh, whether this is a ripe time for us to try to brainstorm something of a national uh, bison conservation program. It's a great opportunity for, for us, for this group, to be the voices of the buffalo. They can't stand up in front of an audience and describe what's happened to them and where they need to go. But we can do that for them. Uh, and that's what keeps me up. That's what keeps me going to face the storm in front of you instead of sheltering, to survive in spite of everything that wants you extinct. All over the city, I hear the explosive sounds, rat, tat, rat, boom, and nostrils blowing, chest, huffs, heaving, buffalo are coming.